very pleased to welcome you all to another vlog from a different country this time. We are back home, currently talking to you from Loch Lomond. This is not where I live. This is not where anyone lives except like one tiny house over there that probably costs eight million pounds. But I just thought I would take you guys along for what, uh, what we get up to, what I eat, and finally being a tourist in the country that was my home for 25 years. Let's go. While this trip was great for being able to see beautiful things, eat some delicious food, it's been something that's been very, very, very good for kind of my mental health. When I was younger, I really, really, really struggled with my mental health, mostly through various forms of eating disorder. At first I tried to handle them on my own, as I do with lots of things, I always try to be the control freak, but as is almost always the case, the more I dwelled on these thoughts and all this negativity, kind of the worse I would feel. It wasn't until I really started opening up and talking about my struggles and talking about even my most confusing thoughts that I began to find even just the smallest bit of relief. Being able to just express myself and speak them into existence was something that really helped me start my recovery journey. Bottling up and stowing away and brushing your feelings and emotions under the rug can seriously, seriously cause your mental health to decline and stop you from being able to move forward even if you want to. And because of that, today I would like to talk to you about BetterHelp, the paid partner of today's video. BetterHelp makes starting therapy comfortable and convenient with online sessions that you can access anywhere, anytime, even if you've never had any kind of therapy before like me. After taking a quick questionnaire, BetterHelp can match you with a credentialed therapist that can listen without judgment. If you're struggling to cope with difficult emotions, with past traumas, with things you have going on in general in your personal life, with problems with eating or any other mental health challenge, I encourage you to obviously, as always, make self-care a priority, but also just to talk really. And if it's something you think could help, do consider signing up for BetterHelp. You can go to betterhelp.com slash maverickbaking or visit Maverick Baking during sign up and you'll even receive a special discount on your first month of therapy. But enough of my chatting, let me show you some more of the, the food and pretty views that really helped keep me grounded this month. Something that will never not surprise me about waterfalls is the noise. It is beautiful here. It is. And just like off the side of the road, completely a caso, just there. It's known as the Falls of Falloff and it feeds into uh, the beautiful Loch Lomond you just saw before. So having never been up much of the West Coast as an East Coast girl, I didn't even know this existed, but uh, it was recommended to us by someone who worked in one of the candle shops on Victoria Street in Edinburgh.
We've stopped in a passing place, a little bit cheeky, but you need to see this view. Look at that. With apologies for the rumbling in the background, we have just stopped at this place here, Rain Bakery in Fort William, based on a recommendation, and genuinely just had one of the best slices of carrot cake of my entire life. For realsies, uh, and a flat white, because they don't exist in Italy, and that perfect proportion of milk and coffee is all I wanted this week. <laughs> New addition to Maverick Bacon content coming soon, Scottish water review. Because <laughs> everywhere we pass, I feel like a little animal. I'm like, oh, it looks so clean. So we have just spent a lovely hour or so probably at the Glenfinnan Viaduct, the Harry Potter bridge basically, and the very kind of not advertised beautiful loch and valley that's right behind it here. We just had some lunch, we've been doing a lot of kind of picnicking and sandwich making to keep this holiday as budget as possible because Scotland is not the cheapest of places. Then we are planning to drive up to Skye today. The Isle of Skye I've never been before so let's see if it's worth the hype. And any Harry Potter fans or former Harry Potter fans may appreciate we've made a small stop at the island where they filmed for Dumbledore's final resting place. Just there. I would go further ahead but the ground here is so marshy that I'm good. Even if I sink in place here, better here than over there. <laughs> for the last minutes of sunlight by the waterfront and we've made some friends who are too busy enjoying their dinner to say hello Bye! It's windy as fuck My ears are screaming But we made it to this tiny <laughs> this, <coughs> this tiny, tiny beach to see the sun go down Give us a moo. Where are you going, girls? Bye. Bye. Where did Agnelli cross the road, Agnelli? going to be a visit to the famous fairy pools here in Skye instead as a refuge in the car <laughs> to eat lunch because uh, the, the winds are insane, the rain is insane. Not that we didn't expect it from the island but um, we are not equipped with hiking gear and waterproofs because we're doing like three different holidays in one and um, the winds are up at like 50 mile an hour gusts and that rain isn't stopping all day so instead of wading through mud to go and see some pretty pools i'm sorry but we're gonna go do some more driving see what we can see up the north side of the island which we haven't seen yet and um yeah we'll probably have more <laughs> car picnics along the way literally the trees are bending in the wind and i think there's snow in that rain it looks like sleet yeah welcome to scotland
So today our time on Sky comes to an end. It's been beautiful, very, very wet, very, very, very windy. <laughs> But we've managed to see some absolutely stunning sights. We're going to try and squeeze in maybe a couple more before we head back to mainland Scotland today and to Inverness this evening. Go see a big loch, my girl Nessie, uh, and then head back to my hometown of Aberdeen in a couple of days. Inverness Castle giving us the beauty of scaffolding. <laughs> She's normally cute though. <laughs> 